my fashion cupboard baby. We went shopping yesterday. Alina and I, she slept most of the time, but we went shopping and I got a few things for her. We had lots of vouchers to spend that she got from people as gifts for her dedication. So we had the chance to go and spend those and I thought that I would share with you what we got. So first of all, we went into H&M and I just picked up a couple of things. So this wasn't with vouchers, this was just um, with my money. And I just wanted to pick up a few festive hair bands. I got this pack of three for £2.50 and it comes with one tartan headband, one red satin headband with a little tartan bow and one sparkly Christmas headband and I'll insert a close up photograph of these as well so that you can see them but I thought those were really good for £2.50, less than a pound each. Um, they're a little bit big for her just now but she will grow into them. I'll probably wear the red one with the bow on her at Christmas anyway. <laughs> I set up clasps as well. And they have little bows on, they're really cute, I'll insert a close up as well. So we have two red bow clasps, two navy bow clasps and two sparkly clasps that are just, um, let me just show you, that are just plain without a bow on but they're nice and sparkly. Um, as you can see Elena may not be quite five months yet but she does have a good head of hair already. Today she is wearing a headband that I made for her actually. Want to show everyone your headband? Good girl, Sam, nice. Um, so look out for a future video on how to make this and I'll share with you how to do it and um, once you know what you're doing it's really really quick and easy but I like wearing sort of headbands on her and things like that just so that we don't have anyone saying oh it's a beautiful little boy and I'm like no she's a beautiful little girl <laughs> so um, so I quite like her headbands and as you can see she kind of likes to play with them as well careful careful after H&M we went into Next and I had £10 of vouchers to spend in Next um, so I decided I had a good look around and there wasn't really anything that I felt that she needed from there for now. Or even, can I have that? Thank you. Or even for the next stage, sort of six to nine months. So what we did was pick up um, two pairs of leggings in 12 to 18 months actually. They didn't have these ones in nine to 12 months and I thought they were really cute so I had to pick them up. Um, so it's a set of two leggings, £8.50 for two. And on the front they both have little rabbit detail at the bottom. So there's the grey and there's the red, and then on the back, on the bum, there is a rabbit with little ears that stick out. I just thought these would be really cute because by the time she's 12 to 18 months, she will probably be walking, and walking probably still doing a little bit of crawling. Definitely see the rabbit on her bottom when she's fluttering around, and I thought that was really cute. Um, and I also picked these up for now, for Christmas. These are size three to six months, um, little Christmas socks. So we have reindeer stripy socks, Penguin socks, which she can really wear all winter, they're not too Christmassy, so she'll be able to wear them next year as well. And then um, Christmas pudding socks, and they were £3.50 for a set of three. We then popped into Boots just to pick up some more nappies, um, because I'd already used a couple whilst we were out and about, and I didn't have that many left in my changing bag. And whilst we were in, I picked up a couple of other things. Um, the first thing I got was these Tommy Tippy heat sensing spoons, and these are suitable from four months plus and what they do is they change colour to a kind of yellow at the front they change colour to a yellow when the food is too warm so that you know obviously if you're warming up the food you want it to be kind of room temperature and if it's too warm it lets you know which is great and um, I got these because they are four months plus because, because I will be weaning her from about five and a half months rather than the recommended six months and the other spoons I have are suitable from six months so I'm not sure really what the difference is but that I wanted to make sure they were going to be suitable for her when I do start weaning her um, later this month because we're now in December. can't believe it's December already. Um, I also picked up a couple of these. So these are baby organic stock cubes and I picked up the chicken and the beef. Um, and as you'll know if you're a new mum, it's really, really important that you don't give your child salt. It's really, really bad for them, salt or sodium. And if you're making like a big pot of soup or something, you want to be able to let your child have some of that, it's really good for them, particularly like a nice vegetable soup or a lentil soup whizzed up for them, it's really good protein. Um, but we can't use conventional stock cubes because they're absolutely jam packed with salt and it's really 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 dangerous for children. So um, I wanted to pick up something that is safe for babies and these are baby organic stock cubes um, and they're suitable from four months old and sodium in them is 0 0.04. Um, grams, so basically more or less a trace. It's very much sodium controlled and safe for babies so I thought that, that would be useful. I also took a look at the reviews online for those and they were really good so a lot of people were saying that they were really tasty and you know 
So obviously we're going to be using them in our soup as well, so we don't want to be adding lots of extra salt in our own spread. I think it's really good for the whole family to be healthier. So um, yeah, it's important for me that they taste good, so I'm going to try those out and I'll let you know how I got on. The next place we went was Marks and Spencer and again I had vouchers to spend. I had £30 worth of vouchers and um, so I was thinking that it would be really useful to get something really cosy warm for her to use now um, because we are in December now. So it's the 1st of December and it started to get really really cold in Scotland just all of a sudden. We had such a summer um, that winter sort of came all of a sudden for us. So I thought it would be great to pick up something really cosy and warm. So I got this snowsuit from Marks and Spencer and it is aged 3 to 6 months and as you can see it's really long. Um, I had it on her today when I was taking her to the health visitor to get weighed this morning and it's really nice and cosy and it was really handy just for our clothes. I know that she's cosy from head to toe and I actually just carried her down in my Ergo baby carrier because her, her health centre is literally five minutes walk and rather than you know get the buggy out and everything, get the pram all set up, I thought it would be easier. So I knew that she was nice and cosy in this, all I had to do was add a hat underneath and she was happy and ready to go. This is definitely still a bit big on her, she's nearly five months, um, so I definitely think this will do probably beyond the six month mark. It's also got the little covers for her hands, so there's no need for mittens, which is really handy because we always lose a mitten, so um, I thought that was great. And that one was that one was £22, but actually there was a 20% off basically everything in store, so it was 20% off, which was fantastic, as were the next couple of things as well. Um, so actually when I went up to pay I thought I'd spent sort of 32 or 33 pounds because I didn't realise it was 20% off everything. Um, but actually I still get a little more, a few pounds on the card so that was fantastic. Um, so the other thing I picked up was actually 9 to 12 months. They're five soft cotton short sleeved bodysuits, obviously an absolute staple and they come in flowers, little stars. Yeah, and it, these are absolute essentials so really really handy. Um, we've got plenty for the next stage. Do you want that, Dannon? We've got plenty for her just now, three to six months. We've also got plenty for six to nine months, so I thought I'd pick up for some for nine to twelve months because they're always going to be handy. And then to try and make up the money on my gift card, I um, also picked up this bib, which is a tall backed bib. In general, I find these great for a spit up, but not necessarily for milk feeds because I think it goes right through the toweling. But um, for in between, it's really pretty, and just in case she has a little spit up attack. Um, or she's slavering because she has teething, then this will come in really handy and I love the ears. It's very pretty and it's very soft. And then we have that. So the next place we went was the Early Learning Centre and I picked up this stroll. It's for zero plus months and basically what it is, is you can attach it to your car seat. But I bought it for the, for the pram, so you can attach it to the pram. She's now in the kind of push chair yeah. part of the pram. Yeah, you're now in the push chair part of the pr pr pram and um, the way our pram works, there's not like a bar or anything like that that you can sort of wrap a toy around like like is shown in this baby carrier. So this one actually comes with clips and it can clip on either side and it'll clip on either side of her push chair which means that she has some toys to play with whilst we're out and about because otherwise she gets a little bit fed up and bored and she's always, always trying to get out of her push chair. Luckily she's a little bit young and a little bit small so she can't do it just now but no doubt um, in a few more months I'll have an uh, escaping baby on my hands. Um, the final place that we went yesterday was Debenhams and again I had vouchers, I had £15 of vouchers to spend. So, so first of all we had a look in the sale, so there is a sale in Debenhams as well and this was reduced to £8, it was half price from £16 to £8. Um, it's in size 6 to 9 months so the next size and it's this really cute cat um, long sleeve top which buttons up the back at the top and this matching pair of floral trousers which I just thought was really adorable and um, really wearable 9 to 12 in 9 to 12 months she'll be sort of January February and March and um, so I like long sleeves because it's going to be quite chilly and um, so it will still keep her warm but it's nice and bright so the other thing we bought with her to use up the vouchers was this toy oh there's your owl toy um, and this toy is by Bright Starts and it was £10. Uh, it's a little rattle, it's got a little mirror here and it sort of has different textures and things on it for her to feel and play with. It doesn't play any music. Um, I did look at lots of toys in there that played music but my mum suggested that she might be getting a few of those for Christmas so I didn't want to get anything that someone else might get her so hopefully we won't get a double on this one but I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to give her a toy now. 
since um, all the toys I've been buying lately are for Christmas. The last thing I picked up was actually what, whilst I was waiting in the queue at Debenhams, which always happens to me. Um, they had this up at the top of the queue, and it's called a countdown to Christmas. And obviously Elena can't have an advent calendar with any chocolate or anything in it this year or indeed the next couple of years because I'm definitely going to try and avoid giving her chocolate as long as possible. So we thought it would be great to get this Christmas tree. And what it is, is it's a magnetic Christmas tree and you have 24 bobbles. And you cover all of the numbers, um, like before December. And then on the 1st of December, like today, you would take off the top bobble. Um, so I just thought that this would really be good fun for her. There's no chocolate involved. So it's something that when she's a little bit older she can do herself and until then until then we can show her what we're doing and sort of explain to her that it's the 1st of December and that we're counting down to Christmas. So I just thought that was a really lovely thing. It's a really nice decoration for the home and we'll probably put it on top of our fireplace with our stockings hanging from it. I will do a video on how I decorate for Christmas so keep tuned for that. But I hope you enjoyed this haul. This brings us to the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next time. Thanks, bye. Say bye-bye. Lena.